Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Declutter. So today is episode three, and for the first two episodes, I have already done my base makeup collection and also my cheek product collection. So if you haven't seen those videos, I will link them down below in the information box. And today I'm going to be doing all of my lip products, and I have them all here. And I definitely have a few products I want to declutter because they have just expired. So I'm going to talk you through everything I have in the collection and what I'm going to be getting. Getting rid of. So let's get started. First starting off with lip balm, there's nothing to declutter in this category because I only have three lip balms. Um, this is the Smith Rose Basav in the strawberry flavor. I use this as my nighttime lip balm. I have used this for years, ever since college. I really, really like it. So um, I will continue to use this for the nighttime. And then this one, the DHC Olive uh, Lip Cream is something I use to prime my lips before I apply any lip products in the morning. And another lip balm I have is from Clinique. Well, I think this is their version of like the Dior Lip Glow, uh, but this is not tinted. Like it does not change uh, color at all. It's moisturizing, um, it's light, it's priming, but it's not anything like super special. Um, but after I finish the DHC one, I'll be using this as my, um, you know, lip priming products. In the next category, I have colored lip balm. I also only have three. Um, so one of them is this one from Chemic. Um, I got this pretty recently, like at the end of last year. This is in the shade T04. I mean, you can barely see this on your lips, which is why it's a colored lip balm. But this is kind of like a warm, like, brown nude color. Um, it's pretty good. I like this. It's very hydrating. And this one is from Chapstick. It's a tinted lip oil. I do like how comfortable it feels on the lips, but um, it has a really weird like artificial watermelon scent, which I'm not the biggest fan of. I do like how it feels, but it just, it, if you don't like like the super like plasticky watermelon scent, then you probably won't like this. This is what I'm using a lot on the daily basis right now. Um, it's the NARS Afterglow Lip Balm in Dolce Vita. I've used quite a lot of it already. I really like this color. Dolce Vita used to be one of my favorite lip colors from NARS. Again, you can't see anything because these are just like color, pretty much colorless. It's just like a sheer pinky um, lip balm. I use this just throughout the day to moisturize my lips and also just, you know, give my face a little bit of a color. So I'm actually going to keep all three. The next category are uh, liquid lipsticks, and I'm going to do this by brand. So first off, I have two from ColourPop, and these were my favorite color. One of them is called Mrs. This one is discontinued. It's the shade that I used on my wedding day when I went to the city hall to register for marriage. So this is a color that is very, very meaningful to me. However, um, this has definitely expired because the color actually changed over time. Like, you see how pink it is? Uh, it used to be like more of like a peachy core shade. This other one is called Doozy. It's also one of my favorite color. And again, it has changed um, color. It smells really, really bad. And both of them kind of like change into this like pinky color. And these have definitely expired. I was keeping them for like sentimental reasons, but I think it's just time to let them go. So I'm actually going to declutter both of these. Next, I have the Giorgio Armani uh, Lip Maestros. I really, really like this formula. It's super comfortable on the lips. It's not the most long lasting, but it's non-drying and it looks very smooth on the lips, which is why I really like this. It's probably one of my favorite like liquid lipstick formulas. Um, and I have eight shades from them. I have 200, 206, 400, 405, 415, 504, 507, and 524, I think. Yeah, 524. So that's all the shades I have in this collection. I love them, I use all of them, so I'm going to keep all of these. If you guys would like to see like a collection and swatches, please let me know, like comment down below so I can um, definitely film that video for you. All right, the next biggest collection I have is from Romand. I absolutely love their lip products. They're probably currently my number one brand in terms of like lip tints um, because they just come out with the most beautiful colors. And this is a Korean makeup brand. Um, I got all these products from YesStyle, so I'll put links um, down below in the info box if you are interested. These three are from their Glasting Water Tint line. So these are more sheer and um, more comfortable. So if you like, you know, not a very strong color and just like a very comfortable natural tint, then I definitely recommend the Glasting Water Tint. This small one is their collaboration with Lime Friends. And this is in the shade Dark Coconut, which is a really pretty like light chocolate color. And then I have one of my favorite colors, which is number 04 Vintage Ocean. And this is number 03 Brick River. I love all three shades. I use them very, very often in the fall and winter time. 
And then I have one shade from their See Through Matte Collection. This is in the number one blush plum, which is very natural, like cool tone pink color. It's so, so pretty and it applies super smoothly. I really like this formula. It's probably one of my favorite formulas from them because it's very comfortable. It's like similar to the Giorgio Armani one where it's like comfortable and non-drying on the lips. And the next tint I got as a gift from a friend and this is their Zero Velvet tint in the number seven Fizz. It's a really, really flattering bright red color. It's a true red, um, a little bit more cool tone, really flattering on the skin, makes your skin look paler. So if that's something that you're looking for, this is a beautiful shade. I really like this. And then um, these two are from their Juicy Lasting Tint line. And this is the famous Fig Fig, which is a natural like pink color. Um, you can see how much more watery this is compared to the other two. These are more matte and this is more watery. And the glass tint tints are even more watery than that and more sheer. And the other color I have is Pink Pumpkin, which is a really pretty light coral. So that's that. And my recent favorite and the newest addition to my collection is also from their Juicy Lasting Tint, but this is like their fruit edition. And this is in number 25, Bear Grape. I've been using this nonstop with my cool tone looks. It's just like a nude purple color. This is like my recent favorite. All right, the rest of these are from kind of like a miscellaneous selection of brands. I have a tint from 3CE. This is in the shade Daffodil. This is a really nice like pinky core shade. I really like this, so I'm going to keep that. M Cosmetics Moroccan Sunset, a really pretty terracotta peach color. This is Dior 7i7. This is the shade I used for my wedding in China. Um, this is a really nice like magenta pink color. Um, my wedding theme is like pink and purple color, so I felt like this was very fitting for the theme. Um, so definitely keeping that. My also new favorite that I discovered is from a Japanese brand called Fujiko, and they also make these tints that's very similar to the Romand glass tint water tints. Very, very similar in texture, and this color is just really, really pretty. It's like a nice neutral pink brown color. This is a Chinese makeup brand called Judy Doll. If you watch my concealer series, I also bought a concealer from them, but that one did not really work for me. This, however, I really like. This is in the shade number 102. Texture also really similar to the Roman, but not the Juicy Lasting. This is very similar to the Glasting Water Tint, so even more sheer and more shiny. Um, and this is also like a really unique color in my collection, so definitely keep it that. Perfect Diary, I have recommended this in one of my annual favorites. Really like this um, formula. It's super hydrating and like super pigmented as well. And this color is very flattering. This is G03. So pretty, just look at that. A really new addition to my collection recently, this is the NARS uh, Power Pigment uh, Lip Tint in the shade American Women. Uh, this is recommended by one of my best friends and I fell in love with this shade. Um, this is similar to like Bear Grape, except this one is a matte formula and it's more pigmented. It's very elegant on the lips. Okay, so next category are lip glosses. Um, I have seven Pat McGrath lip glosses. This is my favorite formula as of now. I have this one um, called Pale Fire Nectar. Um, this is Flesh 6, this is Flesh 4, this is Flesh Fantasy, yep. Flesh Fantasy, these are in the minis. And then I have my three favorite colors in the bigger packaging. This is Secret Lover, this is Sunset Rose in the middle, and then the one to the left is Bronze Temptation. So these are my three favorite colors. I like all of these colors. I use them very often, so I'm keeping all of these. Here are the rest of my glosses. Um, this is a lip gloss from Lunaso. I really like it. It's a nice like um, clear gloss with like pink, purple, and blue duochromes. This gloss pairs so well with the Pat McGrath Utopian Dream Palette. I use, I use this with that palette all the time. Really like this, so I'm going to keep that. This is one of my favorite glosses of all time. Um, this is RS318 from um, Maquillage. It's a little bit more tacky than some of the other glosses, but it's a really, really pretty color. However, because I've had this for too many years, I have almost completely used this up, so it's taking me, you can see that it doesn't swatch very well because there's not much product left and it's becoming extra, extra tacky recently. So I'm thinking that the texture might have changed. So I'm actually going to declutter this one. Then I have two glosses from Lisa Aldridge. This is Dragon and this is Affair. Love them both, keeping both. I have this one from Fenty Beauty. This is their gloss 
Balm and the Shea Fenty Glow. So this is a really famous gloss. Um, I actually, I prefer the Pat McGrath and the Lisa Aldrich formula to this one personally, um, but it's a nice color, so I'm keeping that. Okay, moving on to lipsticks. I'm going to start off with MAC. Um, I think although I don't use other types of makeup from MAC, too much. Uh, lipsticks is the category I think they do really really well. Like every year they still come out with new colors that I think are very pretty. I have two lipsticks from their Powder Kiss uh, line. I really like this formula from MAC. It's one of my favorite uh, matte lipstick formulas and I have the shade Stay Curious and Mull It Over. So this is Stay Curious, Mull It Over. Really like both shades, going to keep both of that. And then I have the um, Cream Sheen lipstick in the shade Spice It Up. And this is a nice, like, plummy shade. Uh, really nice for the fall and winter. And the next shade I have is Marrakesh. So this one, again, is very similar to the Lisa Eldridge Velvet Cinnabar. So if you miss that color, um, Marrakesh is pretty much spot-on dupe of that color. Really pretty. And then I have Cosmo and Mocha. Mocha is one of my favorite shades from MAC. It's such a elegant nude. Um, not a lot of nudes work on me, but this is one of those that did work for me. So really like Mocha, and then I have Cosmo, which is a really underrated shade. It's a nice neutral pink color, perfect for every day. Next up, I have Lisa Eldridge, also keeping all of these. I have Velvet Cinnabar, Kitten Mischief, and Rose Official. If you like to see swatches, I swatch them in my uh, video about my favorite lipsticks, so you can uh, watch that video as a reference. I'm definitely keeping all of these, really like Lisa's formula. I prefer her luster formula to the uh, Velvet Mattes, actually, personally. Next brand is Dior. Um, this brand is very special to me because my first ever luxury lip purchase, I purchased a lipstick from Dior, and it is the color number 460 five in the shade Singulier in the Dior Attic line. It's a really pretty baby pink color. This is a repurchase, so I've used that one up and this is a repurchase of the sh same shade before they discontinue this. They actually have discontinued this line and I'm not even sure if they still have this shade anymore, but it's my first ever luxury lipstick purchase, so I'm going to keep this shade forever. And then the other shade I have in this line um, is number 976 and it's a plummy pink color. Also really pretty, Dior's lip formula is just hydrating and comfortable. So if you like more like glossy, hydrating formulas, definitely recommend Dior. The other four shades I have are 639 Riviera. This is a bright core shade. I use this a lot in the summertime. And this is Riviera. I'm not gonna be able to swatch every single shade because it's gonna take forever, but I'll swatch a couple of shades for you. And this is Plaza 476, a nice blue pink color. And this is in the shade 620. This is the newest addition to my collection. It's a really unique shade. It's like a chocolatey brown. I don't have anything in my collection that is this exact shade. So I felt like it was really unique to my collection. The last shade I have is um, from the Dior Rouge line, and this is the 844 Trafagar. Um, this shade, I will swatch this next to the next shade I'm talking about. It's, it's very similar to another shade from Tom Ford. Um, I'll put the swatch here so you can compare, but this is like a bright, orangey red color. So the shade I was talking about is from Tom Ford and I only have one lipstick from Tom Ford and this is in the shade Wild Ginger. It's so similar to Dior Trafficar. I will swatch this right next to it. As you can see, so they're very similar. The Dior one just leans slightly pinker, but they appear pretty much the same on the lips. Um, next, I have a few from NARS. I really like the NARS lipstick formula. Um, I think it's a good balance between like hydrating and pigmentation. Uh, one of my favorite shades from NARS is Morocco. I still have yet to find an exact dupe of this shade. It's just one of the most flattering, like peachy nude color, so pretty. And the other one I have is Jungle Red. It's really, really, you can see it's really patchy and really dry because this one definitely has expired. I've had this for more than eight years and it's dried out, it's expired, so I'm actually going to declutter this one. Then I have a mini of the NARS pencil called Bahama. So this is a nice, like, nudie color. Um, Leans a little bit more brown than Morocco. The next brand I have is Charlotte Tilbury. This is also a brand that I really like. I really like her formula. I like the shade. Although some of her lipstick shades are pretty much the same as each other, like they have very little differences. Uh, she really specialized in that like nice neutral 
cool tone or warm tone pink colors. Uh, so if you like those like natural pink colors, you can definitely look no further than Charlotte Tilbury. Um, so I have the shades. Um, this is Walk of No Shame, one of my favorite reds. Um, this is Stoned Rose. And then I have, this is Bond Girl, or uh, she call it MI Kiss now. And then this is the Pillow Talk, uh, the slim packaging. And then I have Viva La Vagara and Glowing Gin. So this is everything I have from CT and I am keeping all of them. All right, so these are a few brands. I only have one lipstick from each brand. So the first one I have is from Romand. I actually really like their lipstick formula and this is a nice neutral pinky shade. Um, this is in the shade number 10. I also got this as a gift. Really nice pinky nude shade. This is shade number 003 from Guerlain. Um, I really like the packaging of this. I do not like the scent. Every time I put it on my lips, I just... I can't help but want to take it off because it smells so perfumey. I really can't stand the scent and I have had this for a really long time. I don't reach for it because I hate the scent. So I'm actually going to declutter this color. Next one I have is from Chantical. This is in the shade Wild Poppy. Also really like their formula. This is a nice like bright core color. So Dior is even more glossy and more emollient than Chantical. And this one is a little bit stiffer, uh, but still very nice and hydrating. So, and this is my only Gucci lipstick. I also got this as a gift this year. This is in number five, Goldie Red. Love this, I'm definitely going to keep this. Next is this lip pencil from Nude Stick. This is in the shade Sin. Um, this kind of reminds me of the NARS uh, Dolce Vita lip color. Kind of similar, I feel like. So because I don't have the NARS one anymore, I'm just keeping this kind of as a replacement. This can probably go into the museum because it's like a collector piece. This is from Lingerie and it's their lipstick um, in the shade number 12. A really pretty coral color. Really love this formula. It's actually a really, really pretty formula. I have used a ton of this. I actually don't have a lot of product left in this, but I just stopped using it because I really wanted to keep this packaging because it's so pretty and so unique. It even has like a little charm here. It's so pretty, like, oh my god. I'm so sad that they discontinued um, this line of lipsticks. Um, so the next one I have is from Estee Lauder. Um, this is the shade 420. Also a really popular color a couple of years ago. Nice neutral red color. Similar to the shade called Viva La Vagara from Charlotte Tilbury. This one is a the deepest red color I have in my collection. This is Guinevere from Pat McGrath. It's like really, really deep. <laughs> the most vampy red I have, but very pigmented and a really elegant color. So keeping this. My only lipstick from Burberry, and I'm probably going to declutter this. This is in the shade number 69, Golden Peach. Every time I swatch this color, I'm like, oh, this is like a really pretty color. I should probably keep it, but I never ever reach for this color. It's pretty. Yeah, like every time I swatch it, it's pretty, and I feel like I'm going to reach for it but I never actually reach for it. I don't really like this formula. It applies a little bit patchy, so I'm actually going to declutter this. And the next brand I have is YSL, and if you have watched my videos for a while, you would be so surprised at my current YSL collection because I used to have a whole drawer of YSL lip products, but I have decluttered the vast, vast majority of them because they have expired or I no longer reach for them. So um, these are the four lip products left and I'm definitely keeping all of them. Uh, this is um, their like liquid lipstick in the shade 16. It's one of my favorite neutral pink. And then I have three of the Rouge Velepte uh, lipsticks and they are in the shade 28, which is a rosy bright pink. And then I have the shade 32, which is a neutral pink color, really nice. And then this is in the shade number 15, which is a nice light peach color. And next I have three uh, lipsticks from Chanel and three from Suku. This is the Chanel Rouge Coco Shine in number 97. One of my favorite lip products for the summer is a super pretty core pink color. I use this all the time and sometimes just as a lip balm because it's just so hydrating and balmy. I don't know if you can tell, like I've used this a ton. And this is one of their liquid lipstick formula and this is in the shade number 15. One of the prettiest like nude pink color. Um, this is like slightly more neutral than the shade from Roman. Really, really pretty and elegant color. Uh, great for every day. This is one of my favorite orange lipstick. And, and honestly, these are like my top, top favorite. Chanel really knows like their colors. Um, this is the Rouge Coco 
in the shade number 416. Absolutely insane, my favorite summer color. I've used this for years. I've used a ton of it, as you can see. This is the color that is irreplaceable in my collection. It's my absolute all-time favorite. If I ever use this up, I'm definitely going to be replacing this color. That's just how much I love it. I definitely want to explore uh, more Chanel lip shades because I they, these are just like my top, top favorites. Um, I think they are a brand I want to get into a little bit more. These three are from Suku. I also really love their lipstick formula. This is the Extra Glow Lipstick in number 02. I have also used this a ton. Um, really really like this color nice and comfortable it's actually very similar to the Dior addict formula except I think Suku is just a little bit better like the color just applies a little more evenly so yeah absolutely love this and both of these are uh, their limited edition colors uh, this is the moisture rich lipstick in number 117 which is a very unique shade in my collection it's a sparkly purple I don't have anything like this in my collection it's so unique it's so pretty it's like a grape and the other one is the Vibrant Rich Lipstick. So this is a more of a matte formula, and this is in the shade number 110. Um, it's a shade like recommended by a lot of like Japanese makeup artists because they say like this is the most pretty new color on Asian skin tone. And I have to agree, it's really pretty. And finally, I have these four. So I have two lipsticks from 3CE. Um, I used to really like 3CE lip products, but nowadays not as much because they are just so drying. Like they really drag on the skin, even when I swatch it. This is in the shade number 115. Um, it's a really pretty new color, but it's like super drying. You have to really moisturize your lip well. And this is um, a collaboration color with Lady Maymac, uh, who's a influencer. And this is in the shade number 118, Holy Rose. It's, again, it's a very pretty like shade, but it's just so drying. I'm actually going to declutter both of these. And these two, just look at how pretty the packaging is. They are from a Chinese makeup brand called Hersey Beauty. I absolutely love the packaging. It's just so pretty. This yellow one is like a really pretty like terracotta orangey color. It's nice and hydrating on the lips. And this one is like a sienna color, like that. It's like a brighter core color. Both of these are like super smooth, super nice on the lips, and very pretty in packaging, so I'm keeping them both. So overall, I'm decluttering eight products from my collection. I know this is not a lot, but like I mentioned, like I was pretty happy with my lip products collection to begin with because I've already gone through like many rounds of the color in this category and I'm pretty happy with what I have. I think my goal this year is just to try and enjoy and use more of my lip products, um, which hopefully will be made easier after COVID and everything. So I hope you all enjoyed today's video and if you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, the next episode will be on my eyeshadow collection, which will be a very, very long video, um, but I'm really excited for it and I hope you are as well. So thanks a lot for watching and I will see you all in my next episode. Bye!